We are started. Okay, so now I don't know, holding the book just feels nice. Nice and then on that. So like you can yeah, I mean big screen. Yeah. So we're we're gonna continue inshallah reading from where we left off yesterday. This is again the introduction to the book at that little for Ali by Dr. Father Salih Samurai, and I preserve him. Um, and yesterday we read some of the challenges that the Quraysh had given and how the Quran responded to them and how they even made these statements to, on, the, on their own um, without making them public, right? So we're going to pick up from there. And this is the next subject. It, it's basically, he's changing the subject now. Um, he's going to talk about something that he didn't talk about before. Uh, it's a totally new topic, but it's still part of the introduction. Um, so he says, لَقَدْ إِنْتَبَهَ الْقُدَمَاءُ إِلَىٰ أَنَّ السُّوَرْ أن الصور التي بدأت بالحروف المفردة بنيت على ذلك الحرف فإن الكلمات القافية ترددت في سورة قاف كثيرا والكلمات الصادية ترددت في سورة صاد كثيرا وهكذا. The scholars realized they paid attention to the fact the early scholars that the surahs that begin with certain individual harfs like there's a surah called سورة قاف قاف والقرآن المجيد Right, mm -hmm. and then there's Saad wal Quran. So Saad is a letter by itself. Or Noon wal Qalabi wa ma yasturun. Right. So there's some surahs that begin with a, a single letter. They said they, they they noticed that the surahs that begin with that letter, buniyat ala dalik al badat bil huruf al mufada buniyat ala dalik al haf. In the kalimat al qafiya, they you will find a lot of words from that same letter, more of them in that surah. So there's lots of noon words or words with noon in them in noon wal qalabi wa ma yasturun and more than other surahs or uh, there's way more qafs in surah qaf mm -hmm. and there's way more sads in surah sad like that mm -hmm. okay so that's that's also like a subtle stylistic thing that happens in the quran ja'a fi malak at ta'wil um what's been mentioned in the book malak at ta'wil malak at ta'wil is a really amazing book about the miracles of the quran very early uh, book about the language of the quran um, it's written by uh, Abu Jafar Ahmad ibn Ibrahim um, Thaqafi. So he's he's. Uh, this is an early book. Um, this was he died in the year seven hundred and eight after his death. Uh, but he wrote this really incredible book on these subtleties in the Quran. He's he's putting that book here. So جاء في ملاك التأويل في السورة في السور التي تبدأ بالأحرف المقطعة. So in ملاك التأويل. When he was commenting, the author was commenting on the surahs that begin with those letters, like Alif Lam Mi, Ha, Ha, Mim, Kaf, Ha, Ya, Ain, Sa, those surahs. In هذه السور إنما وقع في أول كل سورة منها ما كثر ترداده فيما تركب من كلمها. So he's saying that these surahs, whenever these letters occur in the opening of them, you'll find that those same letters are going to happen way more in that surah. Words made up from those same letters. وَيُوَضِّحُ لَكَ مَا ذَكَرْتْ And what will clarify to you what I'm just talking about أَنَّكَ إِذَا نَظَفْتَ فِي سُورَةٍ مِّنْهَا That if you take a good look at any surah from those surahs بِمَا يُمَاثِلُهَا فِي عَدَبِ كَلِمِهَا وَحُرُوفِهَا وَجَدْتَ الْحَرْفَ الْمُفْتَتِحَ بِهَا تِلْكَ السُورَ إِفْرَادًا وَتَرْكِيبًا أَكْثَرَ عَدَبًا فِي كَلِمِهَا مِنْهَا فِي نَظِيرَتِهَا in the same number of ayahs maybe or same same length right similar subject because there are still that are similar and one of them has those huruf in the beginning the other one doesn't you'll find that the frequency of those letters is way more in the, than the other surah that doesn't have that beginning um, so he's saying just make a comparison and you'll see that for yourself and they, they cited as evidence their count the not the letter count جاء في ملاك التأويل عن سبب بدء سورة لقمان بألف لام ميم وسورة يونس بألف لام راء. so in ملاك التأويل he talking about how سورة لقمان سورة نمبر 31 begins with ألف لام ميم and سورة يونس سورة نمبر 10 begins with ألف لام راء. أنه تكرر في سورة يونس من من الكلام الواقعي فيها الراء مئتا كلمة مئتا كلمة وعشرون كلمة أو نحوها. so the Surah Surah Yunus has inside of it uh, words that have Ra in them, 220 words that have Ra in them, or Anif Lam and Ra in them. Okay, or actually, no, he's specifically talking about the Ra. 
wa aqrabu as-suwar ilayha mimma yaliha ba'daha min ghayri al-mufatiha fi al-huruf al-muqatta'a surah an-nahl wa hiya aqwalu minha and the closest surah to it that doesn't have letters is surah an-nahl okay and surah an-nahl is surah 16 i believe and it's way longer than it wal walid fiha mimma tarakkab ala ra min kalibiha bi ata kalima ma ziyadatiha fi tuli alayha and that one only has a hundred words with ra in them even though it's longer so he, he's basically saying the point he's making is this, he actually went and tried to exp, you know, experiment on that theory and say the letters in the beginning of a surah may be an indication of how many times words from that word are heard in that surah. So alif lam ra, you might hear a lot of ra's in it. Mm -hmm. Alif lam mim, you might hear a lot of means in it. Qaf, you hear a lot of qaf in it. So it's phonetically connected to you. Um, I wouldn't say that that's the reason, but that's part of the style of the Quran. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say this is the reason why Allah said alif lam mim. Nobody goes that far. But he's making an observation about there is some interesting uh, correlation. When Tabahu ila shay in Akhar, who are Anna Hadada Hadi Hilkuruf, Arbaha Tashana Hafen, A. Binaktari Nisfi Kuruf in Mordemi, Taradda that he tisain where she in a suratan, Anna Hadadi Kurufi and Marja. So he says that the, um, the letters that have been used in Kuruf Mukhatarat. Like you know, alif lam mim ta fa ya. It's the letters themselves. They are actually a total of fourteen letters, and they are actually exactly half the full count of the letters of the alphabet. Because Hamza and Alif are counted as one, so they, they consider twenty-eight letters, and fourteen is exactly half. So exactly half the al half the alphabet has been used in the beginning. You know, That's another observation that he uh, makes. And it's been this observation, this this letter count is used, or these letters are used in 29 surahs, which is actually the official count of the Arabic alphabet letters. This is actually something I'm not as familiar with because I wasn't ever formally a student of Tajweed. Mm -hmm. But people that know Tajweed well, you might be able to comment uh, on this. Um, this is the claim that he's making in this book, so we'll, we'll go through it. Uh, so he says that if you look at it, look at these 14 letters, because not all the letters are used in the beginning, you know, opening surah letters, um, that those are actually half from each category of letters. So let me tell you what he it means basically. So he's saying in Tajweed, you have huruf kalpana, right? They come from the throat. Those are the huruf kalpana. Um, there's huruf hams. Hams means there's no throat involved. So ra, ba, jim, there's a whole hams, okay, or mahmusa, okay. So there, by by tajweed categorizations, there's different phonetic categories of the letters of the alphabet. These are the letters that come from the throat. These are the letters that come from the front of the mouth. These are the letters that drag, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right. So there's several categories. And he says what's what's wild is what's amazing is that the 14 letters used in the beginning of the surahs take from each category half. So of the Talqala letters, it uses half of them. Of the Mahmusa, it takes half of them and so on. So that's what he's going to say. I don't, I'm not too familiar with all the categories because, again, I was never formally a student of Tajweed. I just got, you know, slapped in the back of my head when I got something wrong. <laughs> I, I learned it that way. It's, yeah. it's, a, you know, it's a good curricular strategy. So, وَبَيَانُ ذَلِكَ أَنَّ فِيهَا مِنَ الْحُرُوفِ الْمَحْمُوسَةِ نِصْفَهَا And so he says that, and what's, 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 clarifies that is the letters that are pronounced from the front of the mouth or actually that don't have any any throat uh, involvement, um, half of them are used. From the obvious, majhura is another category, I'm not familiar with what that refers to. Uh, and from the intense letters, from the, from the heavier letters. From the lighter letters, uh, half of them. From the Yes. Can you scroll down? Slow down? Oh, scroll, scroll down. Scroll down. Oh, I thought you were just drawing and slow down. Scroll down. Uh, yeah, I didn't miss that. Because I'm reading from the book, I got excited. There it is. I'm over here. وَمِنَ al الْمُسْتَعْلِيَةِ نِصْفَهَا وَمِنَ الْمُنْخَفِضَةِ نِصْفَهَا وَمِنَ الْحُرُوفِ مِنْ حُرُوفِ الْقَلْقَلَةِ نِصْفَهَا So half the حُرُوفِ الْقَلْقَلَةِ وَقَدْ ذَكَرَ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأَنْصَافِ And he mentioned these halves مَا هُوَ كَثِيرُ الدَّوْرَانِ فِي الْكَلَامِ Which 
happened so much in speech, like all of them happened, but somehow only half of them were used in the speech. So, uh, so how you know how perfect is the one who made his wisdom so precise in every little thing? Okay. So this the next page. وَلَيْسَ هَذَا كُلُّ شَيْءٍ فِي This is now the fun part. I tried to do a verification of this before many years ago. I found some of it accurate, some of it not as accurate, but I think the way they count it is different. But I'll read this off to you because you mentioned it here. So this is not the only interesting thing about the, le- the accounts in the in the Quran. بَلْ هُنَاكَ شَيْءٍ أَشْيَاءٍ But actually there's something else, maybe even more things. أَفَلَمْ تَقْرَأْ الْإِحْصَاءَاتِ الْإِحْصَاءَاتِ الْأُخْرَى فِي كِتَابِ اللَّهِ الْعَزِيزِ لِكَرَ الْعُجُمْ Ajab actually. So if, didn't you read the number counts in the Book of Allah, the Mighty Book of Allah, the Book of Mighty Allah, that so you could see how amazing it is? لَقَدْ تَبَيَّنَ أَنَّهُ لَمْ تُوضَعْ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ عَبَثًا It will become clear to you that words are not mentioned accidentally. وَلَا مِنْ غَيْرِ حِسَابٍ nor without calculation. So, but in fact, they are put in such a precise, an incredibly precise, precise, calculated way. Uh, and what makes that clear, or it becomes clear, here's how it becomes clear. So now we're going to read this. In fact, instead of reading it, I'll just kind of summarize the English for each line. The word dunya, which means this life mm-hmm. occurs in the Quran uh, in the same number of times that the word akhira occurs. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what that means is Allah mentions this life and mm-hmm. He mentions the next life, both exactly the same number of times in the Quran, 115. Mm-hmm. The angels have been mentioned the same number of times as the devils, both 88 times. Kulluminha thamaniyan. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. And life has been mentioned and all the derivations of life. Maut, Nita, etc. Or Maita, um, uh, or Maitan. So, Mushtaqat, meaning all the, der- all the different words used for death have been used the same number of times as the word used for life. And that is 145 times. Mm-hmm. And the summer has been mentioned in the same number of times that the winter has been mentioned, five times each in the Quran. Mm-hmm. And evil deeds has been mentioned the same number of times as good deeds, 167 times in the Quran. And the word al kufr the disbelief, mm-hmm. has been repeated the same number of times as the faith, mm-hmm. 17 times. And the word disbelief without the al the common version, the Nakira version, and faith without the the mm-hmm. has both they've both occurred in the Quran eight times. The devil, Iblis, has been mentioned uh, with seeking refuge from him. Mm-hmm. The devil has been mentioned the same number of times seeking refuge has been mentioned mm-hmm. eleven times each. Uh, Kafirin, disbelievers mm-hmm. and deniers of the truth, has been mentioned the same number of times as the fire. War has been mentioned, uh, and so he didn't mention the number here. Uh, but anyway, and war has been mentioned the same number of times as prisoners of war has been mentioned, twice each. Okay. You only get prisoners of war when you have war. Uh, this is interesting. When Allah says, قالوا. What does قالوا mean, guys? You guys are able to this, no? They said, occurs in the Quran 332 times. They said, they said, they said, they said, it's 332 times, okay? وَمِنْ عَجَبٍ أَنْ يَتَسَاوِيَ هَذَا مَعَ اللَّفْضِ قُلْ الَّذِي هُوَ أَمْرٌ مِنَ اللَّهِ إِلَىٰ خَلْقِهِ And the word say is exactly the same number of times, 332 times. فَسُبْحَانَ مَنْ قَالَ قُلْ مَرَّ فَكَانَ القول. You know, so he says, how perfect is the one who said the word قُلْ 332 times. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so he said it 332 times, exactly the same number of times that he said that. It's interesting because 
it's a conversation. They say this to you, you say this to them. So they say, they said, say, they said, say, they said, they say, and it occurs in the same number of times. Let's see, how far did I want to go? Okay, a little, a little bit more. وَأَنَّ لَفْ الشَّهَبْ الشَّهَبْ تَكَرَّرَ And so the, the word month occurred 12 times. إِثْنَتَيْ عَشَرَةَ مَرَّةَ بَعْدَ شُهُرِ السَّمَةِ بِعَدَدِ شُهُرِ السَّمَةِ وَأَنَّ لَفْ الْيَوْمِ And the, the word day, so month occurs, 300, uh, month occurs 12 times because there's 12 months in a year. Uh, and day occurs 365 times. And the word days, the plural, mm -hmm. occurs 30 times. That happens 30 times. And then he, so I'm going to stop here with the numbers. And then he gives a little bit of an explanation of the numbers, so we'll skip that part. But inshallah, from tomorrow, we're going to start looking at ayat of the Quran. So this was just some generalizations. Other people have made these observations. Um, he's just kind of quoting them. But his own work kind of starts from um, here. فَالْوَصْفُ بِالْمُفْرَدِ يَدُلُّ عَلَى الْكَفْرَةِ وَالْوَصْفُ بِالْجَمْعِ يَدُلُّ عَلَى الْقِلَّةِ فَقَوْلُكَ أَشْجَارٌ So I will explain this concept to you tomorrow. And we'll see some really cool things in the Quran. So now you see, you see the, the, the way the ayat are written are different. You see that? The, yeah. the, the, the style is different. So those are Quran examples. Yeah. So every time you see that, see it's not that style, and all of a sudden there's that style. You see that? Yeah. So that's those are ayat of the Quran. So he's going to give really cool examples of how plurals and singulars are used in the Quran. And how even that's miraculous. So that's all part of his introduction. He's not even giving actual book examples yet. That's just his introduction. And I think there's, uh, let's see... How much is this intro left? Bro, well, the book is the intro. Okay, okay. well, we'll keep going with the intro. Oh, okay. It's pretty, it's worth it. It's worth it. You'll get something cool out of it, inshallah. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Barakallahu alaykum. Salaamu alaykum. Salaamu alaykum, guys. Oh my god, I can't read it. You want to end it? Salaamu alaykum, guys.